eight United Methodist bishops in North Carolina, as we mentioned just a minute ago, uh, have also called for that repeal. And right now, lawmakers are moving uh, into the into their first day of a full legislative session. Bo Minnick joins us live from downtown right now. Bo, what do you know? What's going to happen today? Russ, actually, House lawmakers just wrapped up their session about 45 minutes ago, and we do have news on the bill that would repeal House Bill 2. That bill was filed by Democratic lawmakers yesterday. It has now been assigned to the Judiciary 4 Committee. One of the bill's sponsors told me he's pleased with that committee assignment because he says it means that it will at least get some discussion. Opponents say only a full repeal of HB 2 is what will make sense for North Carolina. I think it will continue to have a devastating economic impact. Our brand, our image has been significantly tarnished. We've already lost a half billion dollars uh, coming into our economy. Uh, I think it would be a tragic mistake. Some of the attention is uh, not necessarily wanted. I think uh, much of it is uh, generated uh, by a false narrative with reference to what House Bill uh, was intending to do and, and what it actually does. So, uh, you know, we're going we're gonna to continue to move forward uh, here in North Carolina on uh, those things we've been working on for the past five years. And Senator Berger also mentioned business climate and tax reform. Of course, lawmakers also have the budget to tackle here, but a lot of the attention is and will continue to be on House Bill 2. Live in Raleigh, Bo Minnick, CBS, North Carolina.